Alright, I'm going to be demoing my inventory prototype that I made over the weekend. Uh, first off here we have the main uh, landing screen. It provides a search and then it also provides a listing of all the products registered in the database. Um, the product is the the main item itself that has a UPC code assigned to it and then those products can either uh, it can either track just the inventory of that product like uh, these Rockstar Energy drinks here, we just want to know how many we have. Um, we can easily increment and decrement that with these buttons here, or you can edit it and put in a manual entry. Uh, it also lists price, description, website, um, and a few other things here. Whereas our other type of product, um, such as the uh, Nexus second generation here, will have entities assigned to it. And this page here, actually let's go to the set-top box, will list all of the entities assigned. Um, Alright, let's, let's review the search features here first. Um, I have a barcode scanner here in front of me, obviously you can't see it. If I scan in a UPC code, it will go ahead and take me directly to that product and then I can access anything here that I need. Um, if I scan in a MAC address or serial number, which should be unique to a single entity, it'll take me directly to that entity page. Uh, I can update the status, I can add some notes to it, um, and details and stuff like that. Alright, let's go ahead and add a new set-top box here. So I'm going to click Add Entity. Um, it's going to be in stock. I'm going to scan in the MAC. Um, which it auto advanced, you can see that. Uh, scan in the serial number and click add, and it will show up in this list. Um, I should probably be changed so it takes you directly to that page, but anyways. Um, and then we can view that, we can change it, we can assign it to an employee, um, we can type in notes, um, and all that fun stuff from here. Alright, let's uh, let's go back now to our main landing page. If I scan in that Mac now, you can see all the stuff I just did here. Let's create a new um, product. And actually, I'm going to be adding a Dell laptop, which has a service tag. And under our statuses, or our attributes, we don't have a service tag. So I'm going to create a new attribute. Call it service tag. Create that. Um, now we can go back, we can click to add a product, name, hold on a second, it is a uh, Dell Studio 1555, I have a UPC, model number, um, PP39L, manufacturer Dell, website Dell.com, Price, I don't know, it was about $650. We want to track unique entities. And we're going to assign a service tag to this. Click Add Product. Okay, now we have our main product. Now we can add the actual entity itself. Um, this is going to be assigned to me. Um, I'm going to scan in the service tag with the barcode scanner. And then click Create Entity. And now it shows up in our list. Um, it's about all I have at the moment. Uh, one of the big things that I want to add in is the ability to track any changes to entities. So when I assign this or mark it as defective, it will show up in a log over here then. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.